Now what if I told you that the perfect hidden gem village lays in one of Switzerland's most touristy regions? Well, that's a fact. Laying in Ticino, very close to the touristy city of Lugano, makes one wonder how this village could remain a secret tip. Could this village allow you to explore Switzerland on a budget while still being able to enjoy pure beauty? Find out by watching this video to the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gemographic. I'm here at Gandria. I just stayed at the Hotel Ristorante Le Bucche, which costs only 70 to 80 Swiss francs for one person for one night. Pretty cheap for Switzerland and yeah, the village is said to be one of the most beautiful ones of Switzerland. Let's go and explore it together. Now I came across many beautiful villages of Switzerland, but then about Gandria, well, that's actually quite a peculiar story. Because I was passing by on a yearly base when I was heading to northern Italy to spend my holidays over there together with my family. When I started to make videos about the beautiful villages of Switzerland, then I was looking up which ones are actually really interesting to visit, then suddenly this name Gandria popped up and it suddenly rang a bell. And eventually this year I decided to give it a chance to visit it together with my friends from Germany. Then I was suddenly like, wow. And it even looks much better in real than on the pictures. Now how to go to Gandria? This is probably the question that you're asking yourself at this moment. It's actually really easy. You can either take a ferry boat from Lugano. I would say that's actually the best way to arrive because you will see all the landscape, the lake, the many villages, and then the boat is heading towards Gandria and there's this kind of excitement feeling that is coming up. Alternatively, you can also arrive by car. That's what I did this year when I went there. And well, it's fine, but when you're parking a car, you will have to walk a couple of hundred meters and only then you will reach the village. Thinking of you being a budget traveler, if you would have to rent a car, that's actually quite expensive and on top you would even have to pay for the fuel. So I guess it's much better to take public transport to Lugano than just take the ferry boat. Anyway, it's a lot more memorable. What is really cool about Gandria, it's car free, so it's not like Zermatt or South Fe where you still have electric cars. Gandria is absolutely car free. Well, with the exception for the people who are living here, and I think this is really nice because this is going to provide much more authentic holiday vibes. Besides Gandria being a perfect place for budget travelers, it's at the same time very serene in here and there won't be too many tourists. I think this is what many of you are looking for, a calm village, avoiding tourists. Well, then Gandria is just perfect. Gandria is full of stairs and alleys and definitely will have to find your way through the maze. And I think that's actually pretty amazing. There are so many alleys here in Gandria. It's basically like a maze of alleys. You have so many choices how you want to explore the village. It feels a bit like Sonic the Hedgehog, where you have various ways to complete the level. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you walk through all of the alleys because there's really a lot to discover in here. This is something that I really admire about Gandria. It's very small and yet it's full of details. This certainly will become very apparent when you're taking a look at the walls. Especially in spring, you'll see there are these beautiful plants called wisteria. These are these purple to lilac plants. I think they just really look so beautiful. And moreover, they're very typical for Ticino. So as you're walking through the village, you really have to pay much attention, then you're even going to discover some great secrets. For example, viewpoints at where you can take great photos. So there is this rather secret trail, which will lead you to a great lookout point. And you'll get this view here. Wow. If you're in the upper village, then you will reach this place with these arcades and you'll get very 
beautiful view. Consider this being a great Instagram photo spot. As most of you are probably going to arrive by boat, yes, as you're exploring the village, you will have to walk upstairs and it may feel tiring, but it's really beautiful. Now, the best part is actually when you're walking from the top to the very bottom of Gandria. This is what I found in particular very enjoyable. You're walking downstairs and you're always having a great vista. Almost reached the bottom, you can already hear the water. And from here you have a great view over the village of Gandria. Really nice. And then behind me, that's already Italy. Gandria is the last village just before the border. And towards the other direction would be Lugano. Once you've reached the bottom, you'll see there are plenty of boats in here. Well, this just goes hand in hand with Gandria being a fishing village. Now, I'm not really sure how many garages there are here for the cars, but what I definitely know, there are boat garages here in the village. Something that I always find very cool. Now, being at the bottom, what I found very enjoyable is to walk along the lakeside. Then you always will have to change some back alley, then again back to the lakefront. This is actually a very nice walk. This is the southern end of the village. Up there is a cemetery. Then down here you have some private boats. And otherwise, that side is already Italy. Now, I can't repeat it enough, Gandria is very small and yet it's very rich in so many things, even in places to dine. The food in here is really great, local specialty, of course, is fish, Gandria being a fishing village, and well, in here you can dine with a great vista. Now, one problem about Gandria it's very beautiful, and yet it looks very humble. I think this is something that can be very deceiving. For example, just taking a look at the church from outside, well, you'll think, all right, it looks normal, nothing special, but you should definitely go to the interior. Wow, actually, it's much, much nicer from indoors, so it's really worth a visit. Gandria is really a fascinating town, much better than I expected. I never thought that there are so many secrets in here to discover. And actually I've spent in here now over three hours, can you imagine? This is just showing how much I love this village. Because Gandria is small, I suggest to not stay for the entire day in here. Especially if you're arriving here by boat, then for example, why don't you just continue to Porlezza in Italy or you head back towards Lugano and over there, there's this village called Campione d'Italia. It's in Italy, but it's actually an enclave. That means it's a village that is in the middle of Switzerland, just on its own. And I think that's also quite exciting. So, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, share it to your friends, it would be really awesome. And if you're new to my channel, then of course, you're most welcome to subscribe. There is a very similar village called Morcote, very nearby, so for that, check out this video. I'm going to show you all the details over there, so I'll see you on that video.